Okay, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to uh, install this in an area of your choice. So I'm going to pick my own town uh, just to keep it simple. And so uh, at the bottom here, there's uh, this, you know the cityscape, and then there's this is called uh, the nature. I don't know. I think they changed it in version two. So I'm going to click on location, and what I want to do here is I'm going to just type my address, or I'm going to write the name of my street. Uh, in there. Um, there it is on Air Street, Russell, Ontario. So there it is. Okay. So now one of the things that's cool is you can uh, set this up so that it looks at, you know, exact. Well, I'm going to, you know, you can make it look exactly like it does here, but I want to actually see it from the front and the time of day you know i'm just gonna i want to see it from the front so i'm pretty happy with that you see how it adjusts in the shadows um also i want to just show you if i alt and rotate my city uh the background here is you can make it look like what now i live in a town so i don't want all these big tall buildings in the background that makes no sense i could even make it in the countryside which might even be better for my uh and you can also rotate the background depending on you know you know your town it won't these are just kind of sketches but it, it gives you a good idea it's kind of cool and the next thing i want you to click on uh this urban scape under urban and what we're going to do now is uh we're going to go and bring in all the data that google has and put it around there now the other buildings will not be decorated but it looks pretty cool well, I know there's a builder that's building up here and there used to be a space here. So maybe this is the house I want to have designed and put there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on this button and I'm going to zoom out a little bit so I can get a little bit more of the town. And I'll just go and drop that right there. I'm going to click grab and now it's going to bring it in. Okay, I may have to move the house uh, to place it in the proper area, but it kind of will uh, basically bring in the data. Now, I'll mention it was kind of obvious. Some places don't have a lot of data for whatever reason. And it might be that uh, if I use downtown Ottawa, for example, I know that Google has included several 3D models. So I could use that, no problem. Now, this is, I live in a small you know, town that's a little bit off the map. So maybe uh, it won't have anything. But let's see what comes up. So I brought it in. Uh, as you can see, it brought every single house in as like a tall high rise, which is really not what the neighborhood looks like. That's fine. So what I want to do now is I'm going to place this and I'm going to go to my uh, scene graph and I'm going to isolate it. Uh, and if I'm not mistaken, this is my property. Good. So uh, what I want to do now is I'm going to use the move tool again, four, five, six, and I'm going to just place it somewhere. And, you know, it actually if there's holes in the neighborhood and the data is fairly up to date, it actually remembers that, which is kind of the whole, that's what kind of what we want. So I'm going to just go up here. And again, I will uh, move this. I already found a little spot for it. Oh, that's the street. I don't want that. I, again, I will click on this model and I will move it, move it, press the F key. That was the quickest way. And you see there's a little space there and that's where i'm going to drop my house i'll assume that a builder could have hired me to uh and i will rotate it and you know it does sometimes it won't fit perfectly and you can adjust that so i'll just rotate it and i will move it oops again you want to use the scene graph because if you don't look what happened i just clicked on it i want the whole building to move and I'm going to drop it in there and I'm going to grab it from the middle and press F and I'll grab it from the middle and I'll drop it all the way until it, it's just about disappears. So I'm happy with that. So let's pretend that at the end of this street, it was an open lot and that's where I want my house to, to be built. And uh, take a few minutes to uh, fix the town 
Okay, and then we'll get back to our, so in the area, we're gonna see here that we have the buildings and I'm gonna click the building. You see they have them at 13 meters high, which is not realistic for this little village. And I'm gonna drop that to about half. So I'm gonna click, click the shift key here and lower it. So it's about the same height, okay? So that was really easy to do. Um, I'm going to take a few seconds and under the buildings there's the ground. So I'm going to click on the ground and I am going to use my uh, color picker tool and I'm going to drop the grass to make everything look a lot nicer. Okay. Last but not least, I'm just going to change the asphalt underground under man-made. I'm going to uh, try a couple of these. Let's just try this one. I know it's not a realistic color, but it really makes it pop. So I'm going to go with that. I'm pretty happy with that. So uh, now we're going to go and customize our landscape over here. So for now, that'll be it for this video for customizing the ground. Thank you very much.